Here are five things you can try and you can do if you're feeling overwhelmed as an empath. Having empath intuitive skills can be really overwhelming, can't it? Not only do we feel other people's feelings, we're also tuning into life itself. And when communities or environments are suffering, we tend to also tune in and feel the suffering of the world and the madness and the insanity. So whether you're in a family environment or a work environment, or whether you're just feeling the pressures of the collective right now, here are five important tips that you can experiment with and you can develop so that you can find peace in the storm. The first thing I suggest you always do is ask yourself, where is my attention? Because attention is the key to all of this. Attention is not a sense. It's not where I'm looking or where I'm listening. It's where I'm tuning in. Wherever your attention is, that's the information that's coming to life for you. Now, a lot of our day, especially if we're unconscious to this, means that our attention is going to the loudest, most demanding thing. Or it's been taken by the waves of collective, which means we won't even be conscious of the fact that our attention is busy being tuned in to a particular issue or a particular collective story or song. So asking yourself, noticing, paying attention to attention is the first thing that I recommend. And you can do that just by asking a question, where's my attention? Slowing down for a moment and just noticing where is my attention. You can also cultivate the intuitive skill of noticing what you're tuning into and then, of course, once you have that established, we can follow up with the other four tips, which is where I'm suggesting you now consciously take your attention and you tune in to different things instead of it just happening to you, right? The second thing I'd like you to try that really is helpful is now I'm paying attention to attention. I'm noticing I can put attention on my foot and then feel the way my foot feels. I can put attention to my chest and feel the way my chest feels. I can set an intention to have attention on a person. I can think of someone in my life and suddenly my nervous system will start to feel what they're feeling, whether I am conscious of this or not. So the second thing I want you to practice is just tuning in to yourself. So you ask yourself, what does just me feel like? Just me, okay, just your nervous system, just your body. And you can literally experiment with this. Even while I'm teaching you right now, you might want to try this out. You just set your intention, you put your attention into your own body, and you're, you're feeling how you are feeling, which is just me just me. And the intention here is also to let go of all the other radio stations except your own. Just me. Just me. Now, if you feel a relief, a lightning in some way, that is a clue that you were carrying other people's stuff. If you're feeling some contraction still, then that belongs to you. And it's worth being nurturing and kind and perhaps working with that to dissolve or resolve that contraction. Now, practice setting an intention to tune in to the deeper truth. Don't let your mind run away with what that truth means. This is not about a story or a judgment or a belief. This is an intention to feel the song of truth. So let's take an example. Let's say you're with someone and you notice your attention's on them and you notice you're feeling some sadness or some anger or some contraction. Then you go, just me, just me, and you notice that that contraction lifts because it's not yours. Next, you can set an intention to feel deeper than their personality, to tune in deeper than the contractions and the emotions for the deeper truth of that person. 
How you know you've connected is you feel an opening. You feel the wholeness, the peace, the stability that is always at the fabric of life. Because underneath all of the personality and the opening and the closing and the, the different fluctuating movements of energy, there is truth. And truth has a stillness to it. It has an openness to it. And tuning into that can be very supportive of your own nervous system and even theirs. Because while you're tuning into that, you're also inviting their nervous system to feel it also. The next thing you can tune into, and, and some of my students really just love this as a, as a first step even. They, they skip the other bits and go straight here. There's no rule here, all right? I hope you realize that these are loving suggestions and guidelines. And even though I make them numbers, it doesn't mean you have to follow it like some kind of rigid process. And that is to tune in to the earth beneath your feet. Not the mind's idea of the earth, not our projected emotions and stories about the earth. We ask ourselves, how does the earth feel beneath me? How does the earth feel beneath my feel, but my feelings and the way I feel, right? So that we tune into the ground for support. And notice how your body feels. For each of these, notice the response in your body. So let's go through the steps one more time. I notice attention. I pay attention to attention. I realize that there's feelings in my body, fluctuating feelings. So I set the intention, just me, just me. Perhaps there's some relief and some letting go. Then I ask, I set an intention, what is the deeper truth? And I'm rushing now. Each of these deserves a couple of minutes, perhaps, and it takes practice. But then there is a tuning in to the deeper truth, which has a stillness. It has an openness. It is... It, it is nourishing to the nervous system. Then I can use the opportunity to tune into the ground underneath me, to the earth, the feeling of it, not the story of it. And I can feel that beautiful, supportive anchoring. They talk about grounding yourself. This is how. And finally, and this perhaps requires some understanding is to set the intention to feel the open space of the pure, true self. The self that is not a me. The self that is not a little separate creature. The self that is pure awareness. Or if you want to just experiment with this, just feel the words, I am. And notice how the feeling of the words, I am, with no qualifying statements, with no labels, with no box to climb into. In fact, this is a climbing out of all the boxes. This is discovering the freedom of your true self. To tune in with your nervous system just to your existence. Without any beliefs about what that means. Without any concepts and story. Just to rest attention in the self. And to discover that it is awareness. That it is openness. This number five, this has been the great gift of my life to learn to tune in because what I found is that this is the song, this is the self that is shared by all. This is the peace and the wholeness that is the ground of being, the fabric of life itself, which means that now. One can use this ability to tune in and instead of being tossed around by the ocean of feelings and energy, that one can tune into the truth that is available at all times. I hope that some of this lands for you. Be patient with yourself. Don't rush this. Even if you just take one or two of these actions, the ones that speak to you, that make sense for you, and you start there, you will be giving yourself 
some deep support and helping yourself in those moments of overwhelm and then even outside of the overwhelm because to walk through life consciously in this way is a freedom that I, I wish for you with all my heart.